Guitar shifts. Guess who's back, you pussy bitches? It's been a short 48 days since my last upload. My, how time flies. You're probably pumped as fuck to see me. This is the most understandable thing I've heard all day. But this video is special. I just hit the 250,000 subscriber milestone. Yeah! After all the videos I've posted telling you not to subscribe and to just leave, for some reason all you guitar chefs out there decided to say, fuck you, Brandon, I'm not going anywhere. I have never been so disrespected in my entire life. But I always said once I hit 250,000 subscribers that I would be doing a guitar collection reveal. That day has come. Well, it actually came a few days ago, but making this video took a couple of days too. You're welcome for being on the ball. Throughout the course of this video, I'll be showing you all of my guitars, plus one mystery guitar that I've never posted here on my YouTube channel. Which is surprising because this guitar is sexier than Ava Max herself. Fuck up that like button if I should DM her. Even though I know she wouldn't respond. And then I get pissed off. But I'm not even mad. The mystery guitar will be revealed randomly at some point during this video. So make sure you watch the entire video so you can see. If you don't watch till the end, I'll be canceling. Dogs. The first guitar that I present to you is the oldest one of my collection. You may have seen this guitar before. It's my Epiphone Les Paul Custom. I bought this second hand from a guy in my school back when I was... Younger. It only cost me 200 big ones. After playing this guitar all throughout high school, university, and early in my online journey, I would say I definitely got my money's worth. I don't really play this guitar anymore though because it's beat the fuck at this point, mate. The frets are really worn down. So much so that they need to be replaced, but the cost of doing that would exceed the price that I paid for the guitar, so I don't see the job being worth it. It's also poorly intonated because of this, or some shit. I don't know, I'm not a luthier, okay? But this thing is impossible to intonate perfectly. Yes, I've tried. It really used to piss me off when I'd make videos with it because somebody in the comments would always be yelling at me to tune it. The truth is it was always out of tune because of the poor intonation. But I could slightly fix it by tuning to certain frets. And at the time, I couldn't afford anything nicer because I was a broke university grad. This is my Denver Acoustic. It's actually been a pretty decent guitar for the $220 price tag. You may remember this guitar from the video where I yelled at strangers every time I messed up. I think it's really important to have a cheap acoustic guitar that you don't care that much about. That way you're not afraid if it gets banged up. I've taken this guitar camping, to beaches, to parties back when I had friends, and I was never too concerned about anything happening to it. It's like the 98 Civic of guitars. This guitar also got me pretty far in my early days on Instagram. Looking back on things, I grew my Instagram to 100,000 followers using $420 worth of guitars. Never let anyone tell you that you need expensive gear to do something awesome. This next guitar actually isn't a guitar. It's a bass. Believe it or not, I've actually gotten a shitload of mileage out of this bass. I got it a long ass fucking time ago in a town called Windsor. I used to be pretty active with it because back when I was in high school, I played bass in the school concert band. And in university, I picked bass as a secondary instrument. Bass as a secondary instrument? Well, you really mixed it up, Brandon, didn't you? Well, for fuck's sakes, mate. Not everybody took the secondary instrument course. I used to play jazz gigs on bass regularly. Then once I graduated, I joined a rock band and played bass there. Everybody always needs an assist, I mean bassist. But I think the real question on everybody's mind is, can Brandon slap bass? Of course I can. What do I look like, a bitch? in the sun. Next up on the list here is this Orangewood Echo Live. I received this beauty from a deal that I did with Orangewood Guitars. When we were discussing the deal, they asked me to pick a guitar from their website that I wanted. So naturally, I picked the most expensive one I could find. 
I originally wanted the one with a cutaway, but they were sold out. Unacceptable. I was impatient, so I snagged the Echo Live instead. I think Orangewood is a pretty good brand because they understand influencer marketing, unlike some brands. Wait a minute. Who the fuck is that guy? Next on the list here is the Dion Custom. This guitar was built for me by Derek. We can always count on Derek to build excellent guitars, just like this one. Big D actually reached out to me and offered to build this. When a pro guitar builder slid into my DMs and asked me to build a guitar for free, I said no. Just kidding. I said yes. I'd have to be on cigarettes to turn down such an offer. A lot of people ask me what kind of pickups these are, and they're called lipstick pickups. And that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge about this subject. I feel like at this point, Derek and I are even, because he did me a solid by building me this guitar for free. And in exchange, I made a video giving him a shout out where I played it, and that video reached over a million views. Damn it, why can't all my videos get that many views? Fuck up that like button so we can make this happen. Seriously, guitar chefs, if Belle Delphine can have 2 million subs for posting 3 videos on her YouTube channel of some weird ass shit, you can fuck up that like button. We need to reach 1 million subs on the channel by September of 2022, and that date is getting closer and closer. So don't subscribe to my channel. Every guitar I've shown has been presented to you in chronological order. For those of you that are stupid, that means I've been showing you the guitars in the order in which I acquired them. This guitar was the latest addition to my collection. I'm sure many of you have seen this guitar. It's my Fender Telecaster American Ultra, complete with noiseless pickups and a smooth maple fretboard. Also, shortly before filming this video, I broke a string. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but I'm not actually that into gear. I'm more interested in playing the actual instrument, and this guitar is incredibly easy to play. Big fun! I've been active in the guitar community for more than half my life at this point, and I've noticed that a lot of people tend to go ape shit for gear when they should really be focusing more on their ability. I think it's pretty lame that some people have incredibly nice gear, but when it comes to their playing, they're borderline noob. I don't really see the point in having a massive guitar collection, which is the complete opposite of what most guitar players would say. We've all seen the memes. But as I've said in the past, I really don't feel that material possessions will truly bring a person happiness. Because they're fun at first, but eventually the novelty wears off. It's kind of like when somebody buys a new car they can't afford and then they post a shitload of pictures of it on Instagram to show off and get likes. Then a few weeks later they're broke AF because they can't afford it. I honestly don't ever see myself having a massive collection of guitars. Now, do you remember earlier in the video when I said I'd be revealing to you a mystery guitar? Behold, my Ibanez AG95 ArtCore Series Semi Hollow. Now I know what you're thinking. Brandon, why don't you ever talk about this guitar? I've had this guitar since 2014, but during a rehearsal one day, the strap decided to fuck off and come loose while I was standing holding it, causing the guitar to fall out of my hands and crack on the floor. Since then, I never played it because it was quite badly damaged. But I recently had it fixed specifically for this video. Fuck up that like button for me bringing this guitar back to life. I didn't fix it sooner because it would have cost me 300 big ones and back then I was so broke I couldn't afford to fix it. For five years this guitar sat untouched in my closet. It's a great guitar for jazz. Let's hear what it sounds like for the first time. Well actually I already know what it sounds like obviously because I've played it before. But you don't because you're stupid and ugly. <laughs> This video is not yet over. I'd like to take a few minutes to reflect on some things. Guitar chefs, you've probably noticed that I don't upload that frequently on this channel. 
I know that this makes you very sad, and you go into your cars and cry like a pussy bitch while eating avocados or whatever food is trendy at the time. But why do I choose to upload so little? Some of you probably already know. It's because YouTube is not the priority for me. Not surprisingly, my guitar program 52 Week Guitar Player is the priority. I'm chasing best on internet status. It also requires me buying other guitar courses so I can go through them and compare them to my own. It just makes more sense to me to prioritize the people who actually made my career possible. Without my students, YouTube would not be enough to pay my bills. I mean, maybe it would if I uploaded more frequently, but being dependent on views for a paycheck is not the lifestyle that I want. YouTubers are constantly getting burned out and running out of ideas every other week, it seems. I never feel burnt out by YouTube because I don't upload that much. So when I do upload, I give each video 100% and have a damn good time doing it. Lucky you! I will still have periods when I'm slightly more active on YouTube in between projects for 52 Week Guitar Player. For example, I just created a 57th module. I started construction for this module on December 18th and just recently finished this past week. I actually plan to share a lesson from the module for free on the channel here so you can see how badass the program really is. That being said, I feel like people focus too much on the modules and not on the community aspect and weekly live streams as much as they should. The live streams happen on Zoom and they're purely Q&A with the occasional roast of someone's playing if they're brave enough for it. We also have a weekly video challenge that commits you to sharing a progress video in the group every week for 52 weeks. Feedback on these videos is guaranteed. And if you don't post, then I'm gonna call you out in the group and tell everyone that you bitched out. What takes up most of my time in the program is the creation of new content. But now that I've finished a module, I'll resume making YouTube videos for a bit. If you're someone who's serious about becoming a better player and you wanna be held accountable and you want a clearly structured path on how to do it with practice routines, guaranteed feedback, access to myself for Q&A, as well as my other instructor, book a call with my team. Link in the description. So now you know where I'm randomly disappearing to from time to time. Now, I wanna talk about the fact that we just hit a quarter mil here on the channel. When I made the decision that I actually wanted to have a successful YouTube channel, the year was 2017. Only in the past 15 months has this vision actually become a reality. And well, I have you chefs out there to thank for that. So, thanks. But don't tell anyone I said that, otherwise death. We seem pretty far away from reaching the goal of having one mil by September of 2022, but it will happen. Which is a bold statement considering I don't upload that much. I'm gonna need a lot of help from you all to get there. When it happens, I'll reveal something that I think a lot of you will think is pretty surprising, but also inspiring. In the meantime, the next milestone is 500K. What should I reveal? I was thinking about revealing my age because for some reason that's one of the first suggested searches by Google when you look me up. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Before I end this video, I also want to give a shout out to Davey504 who initially launched my channel after he gave me a shout out. Slap like for that. Now just leave, okay? I don't want you here.